Hey guys, right before I get into this video, I want to tell you guys about the huge $200 giveaway I'm doing to kick off the start of my second channel, PA Media. There's three things that you have to do to enter. First, you have to subscribe to both of my channels and turn on notifications. Then go ahead and like this video. And lastly, click the first link in the description down below to enter this giveaway. There's several entries and you can also come back every day for daily bonus entries. So yeah guys, this giveaway ends on July 1st. Make sure you guys enter and let's get right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Past Amazing and today we're going to be going through the entire AMA by Darian. Now if you guys did not know, Darian is a Supercell community manager and earlier today he did an AMA or ask me anything, basically where players submit questions in a Reddit thread and he responds to as many as he can. And this time it was absolutely huge, he responded to a ton of players, everything from confirmed updates to the future of the game. So yeah, we're going to be going through everything that he said in this video. So make sure you guys do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also turn on my post notifications. I'll keep you guys updated with the latest Clash of Clans updates, news, and leaks. All right, guys, getting into this huge AMA. First of all, he confirmed two things, all right? These things he literally confirmed absolutely are coming. First, he said the hero regen times, they will be reduced in a future update, hopefully very soon. But this is something that he said, yes, Supercell confirmed that this will be happening. Next thing that he confirmed is that there will be additional changes to time-related aspects soon. And I'm quoting him right here, time-related aspects. Uh, this probably means stuff like upgrade times, troop training times, including the hero regen times. They're going to be reforming a lot of this stuff hopefully reducing times i wouldn't want to like increase anything you know so yeah there will be changes to these coming very soon all right let's move on to some more stuff that he said so first he talks about war weight a couple of days ago i made a video about how supercell had changed the war weight of several defense buildings like the eagle artillery and the inferno tower and i was wondering if it was a bug or a temporary thing or if it was actually permanent well in the ama darian confirmed that these war weight changes that were made are intentional so yeah the eagle artillery and firm tower all these other defensive buildings did actually get their war weight reduced by a ton and he also said that there will be more engineering nerfs coming basically making these engineered bases less powerful Moving on, he talked about balancing resource requirements and build times and all this other stuff to keep the game enjoyable and speed up the end game. So this was in response to some player who said, hey, all these boosting and gemming events we've gotten for the past couple weeks, they've been great. Can you guys do anything else for us? And basically said, yeah, we will be balancing these resource requirements and build times and all this stuff. Going back to that confirmed update about there will be reductions in time related aspects of the game next darian talks about how there will be more magic items hopefully coming this year so yeah, we should be seeing those next he says a lot of quality of life changes will be coming very soon this is something that they're focusing on according to darian you know after this huge channel 12 content update now they want to focus on stuff that will make the game more enjoyable for us so a big example he gave of this was the clouding issue up there in titans and legends league this is like their number one priority right now. They are looking at fixing the clouds and making it so that you don't have to wait like 10 minutes to search for a base. Okay, so a huge topic of discussion in the community right now is the new Archer Tower designs. A lot of people do not like them. I am one of those people. And so someone asked the question, why did Supercell think of changing the Archer Tower designs and like what was wrong with them in the first place? And Darian responded that they wanted to simplify the game graphics. He felt that the Archer Towers were getting way too many spikes, you know, like level 13, level 14, level 15, just keep getting more and more spikes and more and more complicated. Uh, Darian said Supercell wanted to like simplify the game graphics down, so they just put the green banners there. That's something that's very simple, you know, very clean looking according to them. And that's why they changed the Archer Tower design. They do say that it is here to stay. All right, next, Darian said that there will probably be no new clan perks coming anytime soon. So right now, after level 10, we don't get any additional clan perks, and it would be pretty nice to have even better perks, but Darian said they don't want to disadvantage and discourage these lower level clans. Darian talked about how Supercell is looking at clan name changes after they did allow unlimited name changes. He says that Supercell is now looking at a way to change your clan name, maybe just once, maybe multiple times, but this is something that they're looking at. They're also looking at reducing the donate now gem costs, which right now is like ridiculously high. We did have that event where all the donate now costs were one gem, but now it's obviously back to normal. 
everything's super expensive like the siege machine costs like 30 gems which is ridiculous so Darian said they are looking at maybe reducing those costs next someone asked about level 8 goblins why didn't we see a new level to goblins for town hall 12 Darian said that they didn't think a level 8 goblin was needed so they didn't add one for this specific update but he said that supercell is looking at a level 8 goblin in the future it'll probably come you know maybe in the next few updates or so now a lot of people were talking about friendly challenges and how it's super annoying if you like accidentally move one building you suddenly have to wait 24 hours for that whole cooldown uh, they asked could you guys you know maybe reduce this cooldown or maybe have a system where like you could have a threshold where if you moved a certain amount of buildings or less it wouldn't trigger the cooldown however Darian said that this is probably not going to make its way into the game Supercell just wants to prevent cheating at all costs and there's always going to be these people finding loopholes if you put in a threshold or something like that there's going to be people finding ways around the system he just doesn't want that to happen so there probably are not going to be changes to the friendly challenges However, Darian did say that they're looking at allowing clan games points for attacks made in war, not just multiplayer. So for those clan games challenges that say like 3 star 1 to 11 player in multiplayer, uh, it's only in multiplayer not for war, but they're looking at expanding that for either multiplayer or war because obviously they're pretty much the same thing. Alright, so next Darian discusses the clan game log and how it could be coming into the game. So right now we have a war log obviously showing the past war history. Now he says we could be getting a clan games log where you could see your clan's past clan games, see how much points you got, what tier you got to and all that stuff. Also, Supercell is looking at adding more social elements to the builder base. Darian specifically mentioned clan wars as a possibility for the builder base, but he said no matter what they do, they are looking at expanding the social element of the builder base so that you can interact with other players more in that game mode. Now, in response to a player who said how the wall record seems to be OP right now, Darian responded that yes, they are looking at the wall record specifically right now, perhaps nerfing it a little to keep it more in line with the battle blitz which is the other siege machine now Darian has said he forwarded these two ideas to the supercell team first a toggle to change the warden mode from air to ground or vice versa in a battle so similar to how you can change your siege machine and all that there will be a toggle allowing you to change your grand warden between modes next the hero sleeper guard toggle being available while a hero is healing right now that is actually not available and is super annoying but Darian said he has forwarded these two ideas to the supercell team for consideration now if you guys follow Clasharama, Darian said that Clasharama season 2 will be coming very very soon so yeah we hopefully will be seeing that I loved the season 1 series so yeah hopefully it is being brought back and I can't wait to watch the next episode all right this one's really interesting Darian said that for the past few months Supercell has been been testing the ice golem for clash of clans so this didn't actually make its way into the game eventually they chose the electro dragon instead but for some time supercell did consider adding the ice golem into clash of clans so yeah that's pretty interesting maybe we'll see it in a future update who knows but yeah we just know it's somewhere there in supercell's mind all right, last couple things that he said, there will be no sixth builder coming anytime soon. Darian said that he thinks five is definitely enough right now. And he said if they provide a sixth builder, players will start asking for a seventh builder and like just keeps going on like that. So they just want to limit it at five, at least for now. Lastly, he said that there will be a builder hall nine coming. He did not give a time frame or anything like that. He just said... Uh, builder hall 8 is not the last like end game or whatever for the builder base there will be a builder hall 9 and more content coming at some point so yeah guys that is it for this huge ama on reddit that is everything that darian talked about and that you need to know about so yeah i hope you guys found this video interesting if you did definitely go to give it a like down below and also make sure you guys do go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already for all the latest clash of clans updates news and leaks and you'll also turn on my post notifications for all my latest uploads. And yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.